Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Amazon review series. Uh, we got another package sent in to us today. This is another requested video and uh, this is by a company that we have worked with before. Uh, this is from TWAD and uh, as you can see right here we have their little logo uh, sticker right there and right here this is an outdoor shooting and photography steady rest bag and uh, so let's go ahead and tear it open take a look at it real quick it's actually two bags and uh, as you can see here it does unfold and everything now obviously this doesn't look much like a steady rest bag as it is uh, this does require sand uh, or something similar to sand at least to be put inside of it uh, but we'll go ahead and kind of go over it a little bit here and then uh, I do happen to have some sand uh, that we'll go ahead and throw in here so that we can uh, kind of see what this looks like when it's all set up and put together but uh, first off this is a uh, this one here these ones are green uh, kind of an olive drab color uh, they do have the the web strapping here I uh, have a couple of D rings on the side there uh, and that's open basically across what would be the opening for the side once it was extended out uh, again this is a canvas type of material now on the top it has more of a plush feel uh, it's not um, it, well it may, it may be like a sort of like a velvet uh, is what it feels like it's not quite as thick as some velvet that I felt but uh, I'm sure there are different uh, pile sizings for that um, where the uh, the pile isn't quite as high in some that it is in others but uh, it's definitely soft and uh, you know it wouldn't uh, be hurting your uh, camera equipment or your uh, gun be it you know rifle or shotgun or whatever uh, now there is a web strap that goes across the bottom here and that does kind of hold together this opening uh, now this opening is velcroed together and this is of course where you would take and pour in your uh, your substrate uh, Again, that can be that can be sand, or it could be you know any type of of particulate uh, material that you want to use that you have handy. Now we also have this smaller one here, as you can see, and this one is uh, made more at an angle. Again, you have the bottom, the opening is right there, so you have this strap folds out and you fill it up from there. But uh, if we can open it out a little bit, you get kind of a generalized idea where it's kind of the, the back, um, the back piece. So you would have this kind of at the front, opened out. Uh, and then you would have this other piece at the back here like this if you're using say a firearm some type uh, this can of course hold maybe the the butt end of the stock or something like that uh, it can uh, you know depending on what your equipment set up if you if you uh, have uh, you know just different different setups for different things uh, and then I think here it does have the hook here so I think that is just to kind of keep everything together you can of course attach it to the to the D hooks here and keep everything together um, and then of course when you don't have it filled up you can of course then take it and fold it all flat and keep it all together uh, of course you could still keep it buttoned up all right everybody we're back um, got uh, some sand put in these and uh, as you can see we have the, uh, the backrest here which of course is a good setup for putting in uh, like the, uh, the back of your gun the stock or something like that if you're doing that and then we have got the, uh, the main part here the main steady, steady rest now this is a little bit loose uh, I could definitely put some more sand in this to uh, kind of build it up a little bit more on the sides 
but uh, I figured this was kind of good enough as it was. Uh, I'm not actually going to leave this in here, so um, I'm going to be uh, using this sand for something else, actually. But uh, as you can see, now I did go ahead and I grabbed a, uh, I got a little daisy, daisy rifle here. And uh, of course you can then see how this is going to set up. You can of course have this set in there where you're got the steady rest there. You've got the, uh, the rifle here, uh, rifle, shotgun, whatever kind of gun you're using. You can of course set it in there however you're going to use it for, uh, for uh, aiming and everything. And of course again this can also be used for, uh, for cameras as well if you're doing uh, where you need some stabilization and you don't have your tripod or uh, you're doing certain things where a tripod's just not uh, kind of the right thing. You can of course put your lens, um, you know, generally you probably would have a telescopic lens of some type, something pretty long to set in here if you would need something this uh, like this to steady it. And then again you've got this back section here where, uh, you know, if you have it on a uh, raised section, you have this for this gun, it would be, it would need to be raised up a little bit higher at the front but uh, you can of course put the back end in here and that keeps it nice and stable that way. Uh, so, you know, definitely uh, a nice kind of setup. It's um, definitely useful, of course, for, uh, you know, doing, doing shooting, whether you're uh, shooting a gun of some type or you're shooting, uh, you know, film, uh, be it either video or uh, pictures, whatever. Uh, especially if you're doing some of those long shots and you need to keep yourself lined up steady and don't want to get that shake in there. Now uh, one thing of course I did mention this is uh, of course full of sand. Uh, this is just basic uh, general sand. Um, so you have large particles and small ones. I did notice I do have some small particles uh, kind of coming out and uh, this is held together by velcro. So the velcro isn't super super tight uh, it's not going to create a super tight seal, so if you have smaller particles, uh, you will have a, a small amount of leakage, but that's pretty much to be expected for something like this. Just something to take into consideration. I mean, obviously, we'll have to clean up a little tiny bit of sand that's here on the table. Uh, so that's something to think about just when you're using it. I don't think it's anything to worry about when you're actually um, deciding on the product, though, because I think that's kind of standard. Uh, you know in terms of the way that they work but uh, yeah looks pretty good works well as we can see here uh, I mean obviously this is sitting in here very nicely and uh, it's not moving at all alright guys well this will do it for me today my name's Cougar this of course is another episode from the Amazon review series if you guys want to check this out go ahead down there in the description below we will have a link to it on the Amazon site as well as while you're down there don't forget to check out our social media links those are down there as well and on your way down or on your way back up don't forget to hit that thumbs up uh, and uh, also if you haven't done it already you can check out in the corners or down there below the video we do have those links for uh, subscribing and of course when you hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that bell icon uh, you ring that bell and it lets you get notified when we got new videos coming out here on world of me alright guys well I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later bye